Hello guys, welcome to a new video and today we're going to be doing an art haul. It feels like Christmas when you get new supplies, doesn't it? So let's dive in. Okay, so I'm really excited to show you some of the new things that I've got in my latest art haul. Um, I seem to be going kind of overboard at the minute of buying lots of new things and it's so exciting and it feels like Christmas and I love the feeling of getting new supplies. Who doesn't? But yeah, I'm going to try and rein it in, I think, over the coming months and really just play around with all the things that I've now got. Um, so this is a combination of a Jackson's Hall and Colt Pens as well. So yeah, this is how my Colt Pens things came. So nicely protected in here. Jackson's always sends things in lots of little different boxes, which then comes in a big box. So things are well protected. Um, I've got some Holbein pencils here, which are my favorite pencil. If you've seen my top 10 favorite art supplies, you'll know that these are my favorite pencils. Um, I will do a review of these, uh, but I've got a really, really special video coming up soon that's more kind of in-depth to do with the Holbein pencils. So we'll dive into that probably next week. But yeah, let me show you what I have got. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is these, which I got from Jackson's. They are watercolour blocks. I got the 7x10 and the 8x10. And to be honest, it's always to do with what they have in stock. This is, let me have a look. This is an old one. 5x7, nice small size. They didn't have any of these at the time of ordering, otherwise I would have got some more. But they're great, they're 300 GSM, natural white, and they're hot pressed. I always get the hot pressed because it's gorgeous, kind of smooth paper. Works really well with my neo colours, watercolour, and then I can still draw on the top as well because of that smoothness. I will show you, um, <laughs> the first time I got these, I was like, how, how do you, you know, get to the next bit of paper? So I found that this is an old kitchen knife. It's actually quite blunt. So you could use any sort of craft knife. There's a tiny little gap in the gum around the edge, but the whole thing is gummed. So here at the top where the flap is, you'll find there there's a tiny little gap. So you can slide your knife in and then I just really gently drag it all the way around. Try and keep my hand out of the way, just like that, all the way around and then it cuts that gum, gummed edge. There we go. And then it releases it without tearing the edges because that was the mistake I've made previously, tearing up the edges and messing up the next one. So then you can go straight into the next one. It's great because it's held in place, then the paper won't pull and buckle. It stays really nice and flat as you're working on it. Um, and as the paper dries as well. So really, really fun. And I'm really, really pleased that I've got two really nice big sizes as well to work on here. So obviously this is like twice the size of that and this is slightly wider again. So yeah, that's those. Right, so the next thing I want to show you is all my new pencils. So if I pull this out the way, um, something I have realised is I am absolutely falling in love with these, the DeWent drawing pencils. I didn't think much of these to start with and I don't really know why but I just find them so soft and easy to use. Let me pull you down a bit. So I'm working here in my Pith sketchbook. This is the Light Sienna. It just goes down so easily, it's like butter. It works really nicely in layers as well. This one's the ink blue. Really, really beautiful, really nice pencils. Ink blue. Uh, might not see that one. Light Sienna. I think I've got one in here as well my Colt Pens order, yes, another go at drawing. So this one is wheat. So again, it's really nice neutral, nice pale, great for layering. I just love how they kind of smudge together. Really fun, so that's wheat. 
these light ones would be really nice to use on like a, um, a tanned or craft style paper or maybe a grey paper as well. So yeah, really, really nice. Let's also have a look at what else I've got in my Colt Pens order. I have got some Colour Softs. So these are a restock of ones that I realised I was really, really low on. Then I've got quite a few that went light fast and I've also got one Luminance pencil. So first I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who commented on the last art haul video. It was so, so helpful. I was saying... Let me show you. I was saying on my last video, or in my last art haul video, how I was kind of lacking in a really nice green and I basically had no yellows, like not a proper, what I'd call a proper yellow. <laughs> and you guys are amazing with all your suggestions that you came back with. So I pulled from those suggestions and I got some of these. So first of all, I'll start with the one Luminance one I got, which was the Bismuth, the Bismuth Yellow. Really beautiful. So if I add this to my collection, then finally I've got a really nice kind of lemony sunshine yellow, which I was definitely missing from my colour palette. I also got this one, a couple of you uh, recommended this one, so the Dewent Lightfast, again Dewent is just a really nice brand I've discovered. A couple of you suggested the Sun Yellow, so again really rich, they're fairly similar but yeah really beautiful, goes nicely with this one as well. So got a couple of really nice yellows in there. Then I've also got these two, so I went for Grass Green, so just trying to find a really nice kind of what I'd call a proper green, <laughs> which I really felt this colour palette was missing, even though I had all these greens. So I'm really happy with this. Again, it's the light fast. And this suggestion of the foliage. Now, when I looked at the colour swatches on Colt pens, this looked like a really dark, almost brownie green. But I'm so surprised with what colour this actually is. And it is absolutely stunning. Really beautiful. It's almost like a Nice sap green, but yeah, really lovely. So that's the foliage. Really nice in there. So I will add these in here as well. So I've got the grass green. Grass green. Foliage. really love this they just go down so nicely so on that yellow and bismuth yellow so yeah they are quite similar these two but yeah really really nice both really nice to have so these are that's a luminance These are light fast. These were the Derwent drawing. Derwent drawing. These are again Derwent but colour soft. And again, really love these. These are kind of like the staple. These are pencils that I really started with. Um, I've got quite a few of these and it still surprises me actually how soft they are because they are kind of more the cheaper end of what I would call professional pencils. Um, Derwent Colour Soft. This is the blush pink. I love my pinks. Pinks and blues are my go-to and that is just the pink. So really pleased with those. So yeah, let me show you the last two Derwent Lightfast ones before I get into the Holbein pencils, which I also got to go with the greens and yellows. So I also went for this one, which I just loved the colour of. This is the Sandstone. And another light one because I have the, I think it's a light blue. And this one's the Arctic, but again, I figured this would be really nice for layering over the top of other ones. So, 
Arctic. Great for kind of adding lights back in. Let's try it up here. See, it just layers so nicely. Great for mixed media work. So yeah, let me show you now my whole binds. So as you can see, I kind of went a bit overboard with ordering greens. <laughs> I can definitely say I've got enough greens now. We've got this gorgeous yellow here, which is the dandelion. So again, it's kind of similar. So I feel like I've got three kind of similar ones now. So I'm definitely okay for yellows. So dandelion. These are Holbein. And then all of these gorgeous ones. I just love, love, love how buttery and soft these are, how smooth they go down. This is the fur green. This is the evergreen, really nice and bright. So slightly brighter than that grass green, but on a similar sort of wavelength, I would say. Evergreen. This one I really love the look of. Again, it kind of reminds me of like a sap green color. This is cactus. So kind of similar to foliage. Foliage is maybe slightly more yellowy, cactus green. Uh, this one is awesome. It's a much more bluey green. So maybe like, you know, nighttime forest style. These would be really nice together. This is Triton green. Triton green. And olive green. Which again, so yeah, really different. All of these greens are really different. I'm really loving that the range that they have, olive green. So I'm well and truly kind of stocked up, I think now, <laughs> which is amazing. So yeah, some really beautiful colors, really vibrant. These would be really nice for flowers, things like buttercups as well. Like um, I've been drawing, yeah, lots of buttercups and we had a lot of dandy, not dandelions, yes, dandelions. So we've got, had a lot of buttercups, a lot of dandelions, we had a lot of daffodils, um, but yeah, these would be really nice for all my, uh, just like little stamens and things like that, that I do in my flower drawings. Anyway, I'm really happy with all of these. I think I've got everything down. So let's move on to my Neo colors. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our Neo colors. And this is a really funny thing to say, but a lot of these are new colors. Now, I don't know how new they are, but they're definitely new to me <laughs> because the set of Neo colors that I own are about 25 years old. So I got a set which includes like these ones. The branding is kind of similar. I mean, the big difference is that nowadays you get the little number here at the top and sort of 25 years ago, they were not doing that. So if you'd kind of peeled off the paper and you'd lost where it says, say like dark green, you'd, you know, you can't find out what the color is. So yeah, I got a set of these when I was maybe 15 or 16, one year for Christmas and I'd never come across them before. And to be honest with you, I played with them a bit and then they kind of sat in my drawer for, I'd say, over a decade until I kind of came back to them and started playing around with them and realised how amazing Neo colours are. So it's really funny because I think sometimes I think of these as quite a modern take on like a watercolour. But actually, I've had them for 25 years. So, <laughs> so yeah, since then, these colours have been invented. Um, and I thought it would be really, really nice to try these out. So we've got here the light cobalt blue, which I know a lot of people use as a really, really nice sky, really nice sky color. So that is the, whoop, 
lights. Light. Cobalt blue. Um, I also got so I also went for this one the turquoise green which is so nice I'm a sucker for a turquoise look at that look how nice that goes with those so nice turquoise green Uh, what else? This is actually, oh no, it's a night blue. I thought this was a Prussian blue. I love a Prussian blue. Absolutely one of my favourites. So I had to give this one a try. Night blue. This one is the Fast Orange, isn't it? Yeah, Fast Orange. Now, I don't know if um, this is a rename, if they had an orange and they renamed it this, but I feel like I have got one is it this one? Oh no no it is slightly different what's this one orange is very slightly more yellowy do you think they look kind of similar but no I think it is slightly more yellowy and this is the fast orange so fast orange but yeah basically I bought some pencils the super color pencils which are water soluble as well and I absolutely loved the fast orange color and I was trying to use it as a base and I thought right why don't I see if they've got it in the neo color stick because then that's a really quick way to kind of get down a nice base so I'm going to write orange there so those are different I also went for this one desert rose nice neutral again so I think these will work really nicely with some of these pencils like the light sienna look really nice so desert rose and an apricot I really love these kinds of colors and anything that goes into like the pink range so I think these will work really nicely together that's gorgeous apricot that's really beautiful I then went for a well gray I was going to say but it's a beige so it's a really nice warm grey, this is beige and then this one which is a crazy zingy bright green so let's see what this is like wow this is almost like a kids kids green <laughs> so yeah definitely brighter than the evergreen but yeah I think it would work nicely anyway like layering up all these greens so Ooh, bright green so yeah, really, really happy with these. These are absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. This is a gorgeous palette here, isn't it, actually? Like how these all work together, really lovely. Um, the one other thing that I got, which was a bit of an experiment, is this, which is the ac acrylic ink. And was it in the front of here? Yes. So when I first started the sketchbook, I used this one, the magenta acrylic ink and I love kind of this gorgeous pinky colour and how fluid it is and great for a base layer. So I had a look at all their colours and I thought I'd test out the muted turquoise and I have to say the bottle looks way more blue than I was expecting. So let's have a look what this is like. Let's put a bit down. I've got just my Ooh, this is my water pen so yeah it's quite blue look how deep it can go there definitely like a greeny blue well it is a turquoise but yeah it's quite nice that you can sort of thin that out into quite a nice blue it'd be nice to see how it dries but yeah really gorgeous again you just get that depth when you're working with ink it's so beautiful so I'll just clean off my brush a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I do love working in ink. It's quite messy, so it's the sort of thing I can only really do when I'm at my desk. Let's see if I can drip water on this. 
Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? And create really fun effects like this. See all this here. Nice, really gorgeous. So yeah, it would be nice to work around with these and kind of layer things up. I'm just gonna water activate some of these as well. See what these look like. So yeah, that'd be really nice for like a cloudy sky in there. What's the turquoise like? I just love these. I think they're so fun. They're so easy to use. Neo Color 2s are just like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> So um, accessible, you know, you can take them to a cafe, you can use them on the train. They're just nowhere near as messy as taking a watercolour set out with you or like I said, like inks like here. Just so versatile as well. And obviously you can water activate them like this. You can blend them. They blend really nicely together. Um, you can then let it dry and then it's like a really nice base layer to work over the top of. So you can use your coloured pencils for working back into and then you can use them as a crayon again after that as well. So you could work back over the top adding in some final layers. So yeah, they're just so fun. And I do like kind of blending with them, painting with them and so beautiful. And they're so pigmented as well, it's so, so nice. So let me see if I've got, what have I got here? My pink, so I'm gonna scribble over the top here of this one. So yeah, that's a good section that's dried. So as you can see, it's quite good for layering over the top. These are still a bit wet. <laughs> um, you can use neo colours over the top. That's great. Look at that. How good is that for working over the top of? Really, really fun. And again, you could sort of water activate this as well. This is where mixed media becomes really awesome to play around with stuff. And it's worth just getting all your supplies out and see how they mix together, see how they can work together. And that's how you can create some really interesting effects because obviously like with this, this is water activated as well, so it's kind of blending with the ink, which is not how they're designed and it's not what you'd probably initially think to do, but so, so fun, such a fun way to use them. And obviously you can use them dry as well. Let's have a look up here if I use the same one. So we can just go over the top. This is not completely dry to be honest, so it will be easier to work over. But yeah, new color twos, you can sort of kind of cover things up. See these really, really dark pencils you can layer over the top. Really nice. This is where you can help to sort of push, push other things back and sort of, you know, maybe like accentuate this bit here, push this bit back into the background, but you can still see the layers and that's what I love. So again here you can sort of, they sort of blend together that makes sense. You can slightly see the yellow behind. But yeah, so fun. So fun just to kind of splurge things on the page and see what happens. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out my inks a bit more. Maybe this, these two will be a fun pair to work with because as I said, I love pinks and blues. So it'd be really fun to work with. But yeah, pulling in some of these like oranges and the apricot really nice colors so yeah really really enjoying all these new things and as i said i have got a video coming soon on holbein pencils and the melts pencil blender so if you've not heard of that before stick around and i will be publishing that one next week so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this let me know your favorite colors down below let me know any new colors that i should try <laughs> And I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.